what's up good morning y'all i woke up to the news yes i just woke up okay you know what i'm saying sunday is supposed to be a day of rest ain't no reason to be waking up at the crack of dawn you know what i'm saying i woke up to the news that miles jack who's been playing in the league for six years, led the Steelers last year in tackles, retired from the NFL, retired from the league. He's no longer a Philadelphia Eagle. I guess he's retiring as an Eagle because he was with us during this offseason. But this came to me as a surprise because he's such a young player. He just came to the team. He seems so excited to be coming to the team. But it could be a myriad of reasons why he decided to retire. We know it's, there's more to life than football. He could have a, a billion things going on in his personal life that he wants to um, invest his time in and put his energy towards. We don't know what people have going on outside of the game and what they have going on at home. So it could have nothing to do with football. But also we even saw last night that Isaiah Bolden, a rookie for the Patriots, had a scary hit last night. He was unconscious on the field. They had to cancel the game last night. And we saw last year with DeMar Hamlin, a situation like that happening. And then this off season, a situation like that happening with, with Isaiah Bolden. So it could be football. It could be the scariness of playing football. It could be the scariness of playing defense and, and any given hit, you could find yourself being carted off the field and unconscious. So it could be, it could be the terrors of the game. It could be any other thing that we don't know about that he has going on outside the game of football. But regardless, wish him the best. Um, we didn't really even get to see that much of him when he um, joined the team. So today in practice, practice is actually going on right now with Zach Cunningham and Nicobe Dean that are starting with the ones right now. We could we just saw the, the Eagles sign a linebacker yesterday, Quentin Bell. Um, he played football at I want to say Prairie View A&M. Um, he's been kind of around the league since he's been in the league. Um, Quentin Bell, a linebacker that we just signed yesterday. So we could have even seen this Miles Jack thing coming. And that's why we signed a linebacker yesterday. But we know we lost Sean Bradley. We cut Davion Taylor. Now Miles Jack retired. We could see us bringing back Davion. But we still have Nicobe. We still have Zach Cunningham. We still have Christian Ellis. We still have Nicholas Morrow. Um, so we still have some pieces there on defense we um just added Quentin Bell we still have some pieces at linebacker but I wouldn't be surprised if we brought in maybe brought Davion Taylor back or something honestly y'all I don't know um we might roll with what we have at linebacker honestly what do y'all think do y'all think we'll do y'all think Quentin Bell who we signed yesterday was Miles Jack replacement or do y'all think we need to bring somebody else in but we're so close to the season now only one preseason game left so we'll see but regardless Miles, appreciate you, buddy.